welcome to another episode of to the point today's topic of discussion is the european state of climate report first of all let's see why it is in the news Europe has experienced a rate of warming nearly double that of the global average. According to the 2024 European State of the Climate Report, Europe's average annual temperature has risen by approximately 2.4 degrees Celsius since pre-industrial times. This has resulted in extreme weather events like heat waves, heavy rainfall and flooding. Now let's discuss about the European State of Climate Report. The European State of Climate Report, published by Copernicus Climate Change Service, in collaboration with the World Meteorological Organization, highlights climate trends in Europe. The 2024 edition revealed that 2024 was the warmest year ever recorded for both the planet and Europe. However, there was a noticeable east-west contrast within Europe, with Eastern Europe experiencing sunny and warm conditions. In contrast, Western Europe so cloudier and wetter weather. Now let's talk about the Arctic influence, albedo effect and warming. Arctic warming, Europe's high latitude, contributes to its faster warming rate, especially as the Arctic region warms much faster than other parts of the world. The Arctic is warming three to four times faster than the global average, pushing Europe's temperature higher. Albedo effect. The albedo effect refers to the melting of ice in the Arctic, which exposes darker land and water surfaces that absorb more heat, as opposed to ice, which reflects sunlight. This accelerates warming in Europe and globally. Now let's discuss about the role of aerosols, cleaner air and faster warming. Reduction in aerosols. Europe has significantly reduced the emission of aerosols, which are small particles suspended in the atmosphere. While cleaner air is beneficial for health, the reduction in aerosols also means less sunlight is reflected away from the Earth's surface, causing more solar radiation to be absorbed and contributing to higher temperatures. Impact of aerosols. Aerosols generally help in cloud formation and scattering sunlight, thus acting as a cooling agent. A reduction in aerosols has led to less cooling and has compounded the warming effect in Europe. Now lastly, moving on to additional contributing factors. Changes in atmospheric circulation. Shifts in atmospheric patterns have led to more frequent and intense summer heat waves in Europe. Sea surface temperatures. The rise in sea surface temperatures around Europe has further amplified the region's warming. Warmer seas contribute to increased evaporation and more intense weather patterns. Urban heat island effect. Urban areas in Europe, like many other parts of the world, are warming at a faster rate due to the urban heat island effect, where concrete and asphalt absorb more heat than natural landscapes. Melting glaciers. The ongoing melting of glaciers in Europe adds to the albedo effect. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about European State of Climate Report. 1. The European State of Climate Report is published by the United Nations Environment Programme. 2. The report highlights that 2024 was the warmest year ever recorded for both the planet and Europe. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. 1. Only. B. 2. Only. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1. Note 2. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe, and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe, and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.